Welcome back to some Realbound. I'm Dear Darling and enjoy the ride as we make connections and travel the world together. Where at last, ah yes I remember this level, uh, we're on the last level of World 10. Uh, I don't know necessarily how close I've gotten um, with my solution of this but I remember being like I feel like I'm really close last time despite the fact I'm probably not. Um, because I wanted to do something like this, but unfortunately that can't be the solution because that no longer waits. So I wonder how wrong I am, essentially, with what's going on. I have a feeling I might be wrong with this section of what's meant to be going on here. I wonder if you're just meant to go this way. I don't know why we would want that. Unless we hit... And unless you, you go that way and then come back. What? Now, if anything, we kind of want number one just to go, like, here immediately, right? Because then you'll get to the end. Then you can hit this. You can... Or oh, if you collect it... Oh, see, this has to be like this, doesn't it? Um, well, it can be like this still, can't it? And then it's... And what? So I, I forgot, uh, that's actually an important thing, is, um... Hmm. I mean, I think this works at collecting things. Unfortunately, we need something to hit B, which I think has to be you, and then it has to be you. to do that but then I don't know what we do with you I don't know how this will work just putting you on a loop but it does actually work timing wise so all we need to do really is get you over here which maybe this works ah uh, maybe that's why we need you to wait here Ah, uh, wait, you need to collect this anyway. Hmm. Maybe this will benefit from us doing this and then you waiting here? No, wait, what? No. Ah, no, you've no longer gone the way I expected you to go. No, um... No, that doesn't work anymore because that now interferes with you. It has to be something like this, doesn't it? But you waiting is not enough because of that. So maybe you should go first? The thing is you haven't even picked up your passenger yet. Um, You need to pick up your passenger somehow. We still have five tracks left. So I... Hold on. Do you know what I guess? So ideally, number two, you would go through here, but not like that. Maybe we need to hit you in a different order. No, because I don't want you, I don't want that to happen. You, you need to be delayed by just a split second. So number two can go across and come across here and then... No, why, why am I trying to get them out here? Just as an alternative way to get over here. I mean, it would be nice. No, because uh, we can't have you take the same path as the dummy train. I didn't realise you could use WASD. Um, because if you take the same path as a dummy train, that means the dummy's going to get there before you unless we somehow send the dummy in the wrong way. That, is, that could be possible. It might be quite difficult, though. I don't know why I have him going at... Oh god, what's going on? At max speed either. Like, you can slow down a little bit. So I can think it's free. Because you proc, you proc. But then what? Then you crash. Which is not really what I want. Maybe you should be going this way round. Proccing this. And then once you're done with that, you'll come back round? I 
I don't think this is going to work. Okay, what about... I mean, that's reason number one it's not going to work, but... um, Because that will happen. No, because you need to continue onwards. Hmm. This doesn't make any sense to me. What I've done here. And now you're too fast still. Um... How are you too fast still? Oh, it's because normally I, I send you along that way around, don't I? I can't imagine this is correct. Having you collide here is not beneficial. But I don't really want to put you in a loop, which I think this does. So theoretically, you we need to be, you we need to break the loop somehow. Oh god, it doesn't seem quite doable. Hmm, I'm not particularly convinced by this. Either well, number two has to either come in that way or has to come in that way. So maybe, maybe I'm thinking about this wrong. Maybe we need something similar like that. The thing is, this dummy car. Maybe for a stomach car should hit you and then just perish. I don't know who's going to hit the orange one though. Because we need we need something on to hit the orange one twice. But it needs to hit it now. Oh, that's really difficult. Um I didn't think the hardest part would be trying to figure out how to pick up, pick you up. I feel like this feels reasonable. I'm not sure I love the use of a semaphore, um, yet, but... Hmm. This... This feels rather convincing to me. Because this will forcibly switch and, you know, getting one to the end seems like a good idea. Uh, I just don't know how to get two to pick up the passenger. I kind of want two to travel up here. Or the alternative is we get two back in as we're doing now and get them to come through here. But the problem is the dummy car is guaranteed to go through here, which makes me not want to do it. Because if a dummy car is guaranteed to go through there, this means the num red two is guaranteed to follow whatever path the dummy... Um, the dummy car goes through. Which means it's going to be incredibly difficult to separate them. The only way we can separate them will be via timing. So I feel like the dummy car will just have to go around in circles over here. Like I, I don't know what else it would do necessarily. Uh, again, we, we want you to go... Uh, we don't want to send you back though, is a problem. We want to send you on the red first, don't we? Or maybe this is long enough that two can pass. Okay, it's not quite long enough. Um, this doesn't feel particularly correct though doing something like this. I don't know why this no longer works. I don't know what I've done to slow two down or something, but I don't know how we can ever get two or one off and um, red two off that. I think the answer is we can't. And I, we, they'd have to come off here is a thing. Is there a way, timing-wise, we can get the dummy car stuck in an infinite loop? No, because right now, if it's switched like that, we need number two to be the next one through. Oh, it's so difficult to do. Um, I wonder if I'm going about this all wrong. 
Like, why have a blue button there at all? If it only needs to be hit once, doesn't it make more sense of a dummy card to sit on that blue button and that be it? But then what does red 2 do? Who hits these buttons up here? But I, I guess it has to be blue 1, but... But then what? Okay, you know what? Hard reset me. If we... Oh, well, that doesn't even make sense because you can't even get to the button. I feel like... We know for sure, sure, this has to happen. We know also for sure... Um, we don't know if it curls like this necessarily, but we know for sure this has to happen in that arrangement too. Uh, the reason being, number one has to pass through here at some point to pick up this passenger, which means it must pass through these two squares. If it passes through this square and it's either a straight line or it's this downward pointing line, it's going to hit the end and that's it. It will stop. So it means it would have to go in through the other side, which it cannot do. So we know, and this mirror of the argument over here, we know this has to be what it looks like. I mean, I feel like it wants you to do something like this, but I don't understand really how this is helpful. Um... Especially with a crash like that, you know? Unless this is helpful? It's not even fast enough. I mean, I guess you could sum it for it, but again, I'm, I'm just not doing things aimlessly. There's no direction to what I'm doing right now. And that's sent red through, which is not what I wanted. Hmm. So what are we... S no, it has to be like this, doesn't it? <sighs> is there a way we can get them to, like, swap tracks like this? Because having you go through here, oh, you're the one who hits the thing. So, okay, wait. So, if number two hits it, and so number one goes through here, what does number blue one do? I don't know. Well, we're going to have you wait semaphore wise, but then if we have instead you go here, oh no, we don't want it like that. We want. We don't want you to reconvene on the track. Uh, I don't know how to set this up such that. Red goes through, but blue, but does not get turned around by blue. I think we need a turn like here or something. So red will go through like that. Blue maybe waits. So now red goes to the end. And if we have something hit the orange track, blue can go through the end as well and then the dummy car comes back to go through here and the red just needs to sneak in at some point grab that oh, wh when does red need to sneak in after blue, presumably. I don't know how red is going to get there. The only ways red can get there is... I don't think it can be faster than two. It can be faster. Oh, that's too quick. Just a bit too quick. So if we have you delayed a tiny amount. Ah, but then you crash. Okay. Um No, you're not fast enough. Red can't go through here then. Surely. But what what else can Red 2 even do? Oh, we've got space over here, but there's nothing you can work with. Red 2 has no space. It has to basically go through here and come out if we're doing this tactic. Um, I 
I guess we could make it go faster by doing... It can be... Oh, it still can't be. I oh, know, it's because we sent you the wrong way. We It can beat out that one now. I have no idea what this is going to do. It's going to make you crash. And at no point can you actually get over here. Now I look at it. Because we can't go in through this direction because of this curve here and you can't go in through that direction. <sighs> so this can't be the way it connects. So how can it connect in the first place? Okay. This has not solved the issue. It has to be able to get through one of these paths. But something needs to hit orange. Oh my god. Um. Something needs to hit orange. That's kind of why I want the dummy car to hit it a minute. And then it just um dies on orange, but because we need to hit orange once, and then we need to hit it again so red can go across. Oh, red! Oh wait, what if we only hit orange once? And red just goes back through tunnel one. Mm, I don't know if that's possible with the way we set things up, but. It's incredibly difficult. You know what I'm surprised never became a mechanic is we, we can't put down our own switching tracks. Kind of surprises me. Problem is nothing ever hits red now. tracks as well I'm surprised it didn't become a mechanic um is this possible we do this then on the way back and you got no I don't know there's no room for a loop here this is a difficult level um it is 12 10 to be fair for a problem is there's so many moving parts in this level I'm not really sure where the weakness lies in my assumptions. Even though it kind of works out timing wise, it's a bit... It feels unstructured. I think this is the quick question we need to answer, the quick, quick question. What do we do with a dummy and red 2? Because currently we're using a dummy over here, which is very close to where what we're using red 2 for. So I, I wonder if one of my, my assumptions is entirely wrong, that dummy, the dummy does not do this. The thing is, something has to hit. Maybe I'm hitting the blue button too early. Maybe we save it for way later. That's an interesting concept. Um, so we, we sort out red one and then blue one. And then we hit the blue button. I don't know how we can really control that. Oh, that's not particularly easy to control. <laughs> I guess we can have Red 2 wait a really long time for, like, the semaphore thing. Maybe until, like, Blue passes a certain area. I think this must be wrong. I feel like I need to start again, but I don't... I don't really know what to do. Okay, well, let, let's go back to... I, I know we've made no progress on this episode, but that's just kind of how it goes, puzzle games, sometimes. I'm not sure. I need, I need to think about this. Maybe maybe without the pressure of recording at the same time. <laughs> I shouldn't say pressure, as if it's like, oh my god, so much pressure. But maybe without the, the idea of OBS recording at the same time, it would be easier to think. 
quite adding the repeat all my thoughts and loud. But there, there is a key discovery in here which I've not found. But once I find it, I think that's the linchpin. Because I feel like I'm very close conceptually with these ideas. I just don't think... I think they're all missing this key component. And this key component is what I need to actually turn these sparks of ideas into an actual solution. I might also be completely wrong. Maybe I'm barking up the wrong tree entirely. I don't know. But for now, I'm going to round this episode off here. So if you haven't watched, thank you very much. It's been Real Round. I've been Dear Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares. Greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewell. So until next time, bye-bye for now.